Hello YouTube. I wanted to do a quick video on this uh, Panasonic radio. Uh, I don't want to turn the cover over because everything will spill. Model RE7327. This is like a uh, late 60s, early 70s table radio. This is the uh, front piece. I have the back taken off. But what I wanted to show you guys is uh, people think that surface mount technology is modern. Well, uh, no it isn't. See that right there? That's a transistor. There's one right there. There's another one in between the cans. Those white little pill looking things. There's one there underneath that blue wire. And they sit on the top there. And there isn't much of uh, leads to uh, speak of. So these tiny little transistors they got a very tiny little lead that just drops through the board and I'm gonna flip it over there isn't much to speak of on the other side you find another one so that would be one right there and you can actually see a tiny little bit sticking out right there. Not a whole lot. It's a nightmare to work on. But when I first looked at this, I'm like, where the hell are the transistors? Oh, those tiny little things right there with those little short legs. Not too much bigger than some of the bigger surface mount transistors we currently have. And uh, based on that date code, I'm going to say 69, maybe, 1969. So the whole surface mount thing, uh, not so crazy, man. In fact, there's a diode. It's got some kind of goop on top of it. And there's a transistor just sitting right there uh, on the board very tiny little short legs this would qualify as one of the surface mount type of components you might see today for handling a little bit of power I'm sure back then this didn't handle much in fact the audio output is that guy right there this is a hot chassis radio but I found it very interesting that Matsushita was doing such tiny little ceramic transistors sitting right on the surface like that back in the uh, late 60s, early 70s. Learning experience.